So hello again, um, welcome back first of all to my channel to where I s ramble about photography and games and today it's going to be about a subject that's probably been I don't know talked about a lot but I wanted to deliver my two cents anyways you probably saw the title and you are already more or less aware of the topic of this video and the topic it's about the plastic fintech take call it what you want to call it uh, Canon um, 1.850 millimeter lens okay this one features um, lens hood doesn't really matter that much but I will not go into the specs I will not go through all the sample images I could imagine I'm just going to talk about what what this represents to me and to the poor man's uh, photography, photography career for the poor photographer that's um, working on a budget and trying to at least uh, pay his, his his gear with with the um, its work quote unquote work because photography it's not my main source of income but it pays itself. And if, you, if, if we can make things to go to the budget side, then you can make your money work better for you. And if you, if you saw my channel previously, you know that I like to go and spend just enough money that the gear deserves and not go overboard. Uh, there are, and to keep this really short, um, and it's already two minutes long anyways, more or less, is uh, if you see the reviews from the pros, they'll say wide open, it's not sharp enough for the blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> That's fine by me, but what you're going to do? Are you going to bring to print a 20 meter 20 meters outdoor with this? I would suspect not if you are on on a budget. Um, so right now, my opinion is if you need a 50 a fast 50 millimeter and you shoot Canon adapted native doesn't really matter you should stop the video now and go to the nearest store and get one okay so I managed to get my my I have three of these so this is the uh, 50 millimeter 1.8 mark 2 there's a mark 1 I have one here I will show you this next and there's a mark 3 I think that has a better focus motor blah 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 but if I'm not mistaken all the optics are the same so you get the same results so if you are in a market for a fast 50 millimeter, if you want to use it natively, adapt it, get out now, stop the video, I don't mind, get, the, get, get your lens and come back to the video. See you later, bye. But if you want my opinion about this lens or continue on to hearing my opinion, it has no flaws, you hear me, it has no flaws. For the price, I managed to get mine at the discount. All all three, I have them on my digital cameras and on my and on my film cameras. And for the price, I got from one for sixty euros, some others for seventy euros, well under one hundred. Has no flaws. I cannot point a flaw on this lens by that price. No, I cannot complain. Really, it has a it it has a weak motor and it's noisy yeah but i'm not going to use this in a situation where that can be a problem so no issues there um it focuses okay it does not have a supersonic motor or blah 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 but does the job it's sharp enough so even in 1.8 it's sharp enough for web instagram facebook whatever if you want that extra sharpness at f28 or f4 you're there so F2, I can use this at f2.8 all day, or even f2, even for some, some small printing, because I am not going to print something big, so f2, it's fun enough. If you go and see review by a pro, by an all-time pro, really famous guy, and you're going to say, hey, it's not sharp enough, right? blah, 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 yeah, probably not. But for us, the poor man, the poor man's photographer, go out, get one, and use it. Oh, it's plastic. Um, yeah, I have dropped this more times than I can remember. I did. I have dropped this. I have dropped also the the Young Newell 35 millimeter. There's a review also on my channel about that lens. I dropped it. It works. Okay. 
oh, the front element, it's plastic, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Have you tried to puncture this? Have you tried to actually use a hammer to, to damage the lens? Have, have a go. Get one that it's malfunctioning or whatever. If you have the money, just buy it. Try to break the front element with a hammer. Try it. And even if, if you try, you won't be able to break it. And if you hit it really hard, it will just leave so soft marks that will not affect your performance. So that's, that's crap. It's resistant enough, really. Oh, the lens mount is plastic. Yeah. And how many times are you going to screw in, screw your lens in your camera for a day, for a day, on a day, on a job? Are you going to do the test, the stress test just because you want to? It does the job. Okay, it's good enough. And more than that, for the price, if you can get it for less than 100 euros, get it, enjoy it. And I have managed to pay each one of my lenses with one job each. So, well, one job paid all three and, and more. So, where do you want to go? Go to a, to a photo, photo job and have no lens to work with? Or have one that is really good? Pick your pick. I also have the Mark One. The Mark One, optically, I believe it's the same thing. It's a little bit better, better built. It has a, a metal lens mount for the ones who are a fan of that, and it also has a focal scale. Other than that, they have the same performance, and the results are really similar or the same. I never compared pixel peeped each one, but it's a little bit heavier. I give you that. Yeah, so it probably has a little bit better. Um, build quality but I have been using this I would not say every single day because sometimes I need something wider but six minutes of a video just for me to tell you guys um, if you need 50 millimeter 108 if you are shooting Canon adapted or natively go get get two okay if you want you first scared that one will will break get two okay so I will not give you any technical details or any sample images just because my goal here is to say if you are shooting Canon alternatively or adapted, you need the 50, 1.8, get out, go get one. Get a used one if you prefer, but they are so cheap new, just get a cheap, get a new one. Buy two, one for your friend too. Just get out and buy it and don't think about, oh, Pro A or Pro B said it, it was not perfect and had this issue and that issue. It costs 60, 70 euros if you if you find them, if you search and you find them by this price. What are you complaining about? Just go, get one and enjoy yourself and get a paid gig, something babies, I don't know. And I'm sure it will pay for itself and more. Okay? Trust me, you won't regret it and I see you next video.